Okay, folks, do you have a Christmas wish? Probably, right? Maybe it's actually to fulfill a childhood dream that you've been putting off for a little bit. Well, the owner of a popular pizza place in the city of Troy did just that. He decided after years of running a successful restaurant, it was time to take one of his dreams off the back burner. Uh -huh. So this week, I caught up with Rocco DeFazio. <music> that's what everybody comments on about our pizza, how unique our crust is and how tasty the sauce is. Rocco DeFazio knows pizza. It's really not about the cheese. Pizza isn't about the cheese. He has spent most of his life running his family owned restaurant in Troy, known for its unique old school pie. One bite, everyone knows the rules. Even the national influencer, David Portnoy of Barstool, called it one of the best. It's an easy eight. Which put DeFazio's pizza and imports on the worldwide stage. We used to be the best kept secret. The secret's out now. But these days, Rocco is becoming known for cooking up something unexpected. They go, when did you start doing this? And I said, well, it's always been a passion of mine to write this story. He's talking about this, a shepherd's tale. Rocco published his first children's book, inspired by his father, who was a shepherd in Italy. And I wanted people to experience uh, what a great life my family had in Calabria. This is a Christmas Eve tale about two young boys forced to defend their flock under the guidance and wisdom of their grandfather. They learn important life lessons along the way of bravery, courage, and kindness. The story also highlights the Zambonia, Italian bagpipes, which bring people together at Christmas. What I'm hoping is this becomes a Christmas Eve tradition. The family gets together, they read the story, and they all get something out of it. Years before this book was this, a little prototype Rocco would carry around in his pocket, a portable vision board to show people. I probably completed the story, believe it or not, 10 years ago. And I've had many different people read it and they all told me, get it published. If you tell people a story, it's one thing, when you actually show them the illustrations, you understand what the story is. You, you can visualize it. So at 71, he decided to take his prototype to a local publisher who brought that vision to life. If I didn't know about Vicki and Saratoga Springs Publishing, I don't think this book would have came out as nice as it did. He loved the book so much, he entered it in the National Moonbeam Children's Book Awards, where it won a gold medal for best holiday. <laughs> it's a dream come true, really it is. It's uh, never knowing I would get national recognition. But outside of the beautiful book and award, the real joy came when one of Rocco's grandsons fell in love with it. Right after he read the story, he comes up to me and says to me, I can't wait to read this to my children, and I'm gonna tell them that you wrote it. I mean, it literally made me cry. <laughs> From an award-winning pizza maker to now an award-winning author, Rocco hopes to write more books related to A Shepherd's Tale and maybe inspire a few other dreamers who wander into his pizza place and leave with a dash of inspiration. You are never too old to follow your dreams and never give up on your dreams. If you believe in it strong enough, you'll see it that it will come to fruition, but you really have to believe